Hello friends, in this video series we shall learn about a very useful concept of math which is sets. When we are talking about animals, we take names of cat, dog, lion, tiger, monkey. We human beings are also mammals like cat. But bird is not like a cat because they are not from mammals class. So all mammals have some property in common which keep them in the same class. We all love cricket, right? In childhood, I used to collect cards of cricket players. I used to separate them based on something common like all right hand batsmen of India in one set all left hand batsmen in one set, all bowlers in one set, etc. And then there were some players who were common. They were batsmen as well as bowlers, like the legendary Kapil Dev. Hmm, did I say all bowlers in one set? Yes, we use that word set a lot of times in our day to day language. We kind of have a vague idea that it means something like a collection. Yes, set is a very important concept of mathematics. A set is a collection of things that have something in common or follows a rule. We denote a set by an English capital letter. Like say, I want to make a set C, which is a set of cards consisting the batsmen who have scored 200 or more runs in a one day cricket match. And that set would have cards of Rohit Sharma, Martin Guptil, Virendra Swehwag, Chris Gale and Sachin Tendulkar. These great batsmen have scored 200 or more runs in a 50 over one day cricket match. Amazing isn't it? 200 runs by a single player in a 50 over match. That's too much. Look, the set is represented by a capital letter. And the set notation uses braces and its elements are separated by commas. Remember, Rohit Sharma scored 200 or more runs twice in one day matches. Once he scored 264 against Sri Lanka in 2014 and once he scored 209 against Australia in 2013. So one thing to see in the set C above, I have written the name of Rohit Sharma only once. Because in a set, each entry has to be unique. You cannot write the same name twice. We can also say Rohit Sharma belong in set C. We write it in this form. Rohit Sharma belong in set C. That belong is represented by a symbol very similar to E. Same way Martin Guptil also belong in set C. And so on. But Vivian Richards, another great cricketer of 80s, one of my favorite cricketer, he does not belong in set C. We represent does not belong like cut E. No doubt he was a great cricketer, but he hasn't scored a double century in a one day match. His highest was 189 against England in 1984. So in my set of cards with cricketers who have scored double century or 200 runs, Vivian Richard is not part of this set or does not belong in this set. Got it? All the elements in a set have something common or follow some common rule. For example, Q is a set of quadrilaterals which has at least two equal sides. So Q would have shapes such as square, Rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, kite, isosceles trapezium, dot, right? All these shapes have four sides of which two are equal sides. When we write a set like this by listing the elements, we say the set is in roster form. But what if there are too many elements in a set, like a set of square numbers? This will include 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. It is impossible to write down all square numbers. So we can write the set by defining its element with a common property like this. 
like set S equal to curly brace X colon X is a square number. It means S is a set of elements X such that X is a square number. We can say this set is in set builder form. So this set would have numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and so on. It is a perfect square. Let's take any random square number, say 225. It's a perfect square number, 15 square equal to 225. So it belongs to this set. So 225 belongs to this set. We write it like this. If any number doesn't belong to this set, we write it like this. For example, 226 is not a square number, so it doesn't belong to set S. We write it like E strike off. We can enlist more than one property of elements. For example, say set S is a set of square numbers till 100. So we can write it like this S equal to curly brace X colon x is a square number comma x less than equal to 100 curly braces close it means s is a set of elements x such that x is a square number and x is less than equal to 100 remember when we write multiple properties like this it means every property has to be true and of all the properties same way we already know a set of rational numbers is denoted by Q so we can write it like this Q is equal to curly brace X colon X equal to P by Q comma P and Q are integers comma Q is not equal to 0 curly brace close what does it mean it means Q is a set of elements X such that X equal to P by Q and P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. This set has infinite number of elements. To summarize, a set is a collection of things that have something in common or follows a rule. We can write a set both in rooster form or set builder form. Like say, we want to make a set forming the words mathematics. This set would have unique alphabets of M a, T, H, E, I, C, S. Look, alphabets A, T and M are repeated but written only once. A set contains distinct elements. No element is repeated. So in the rooster form it will be written as set M is equal to curly brace m comma a comma t comma h comma e comma i comma c comma s curly brace close we can write the same set in set builder form like this m is equal to x colon x is a letter of word mathematics this means m is a set of elements x such that x is a letter of word mathematics so concept of set is heavily used in mathematics science and in our daily life to make collection of similar objects. We'll learn more about it in the next lesson. Bye-bye.